You are very welcome back. That music just brings me back. <laughs> you in a good are, way. Yeah, in a good way, in a good way. Last week in our wedding series, we focused on the trends for cakes for 2017. But today we are turning our attention to beautiful bridal wear. Here with the top bridal trends and gowns for 2017 is Laura Cunningham, editor of Confetti Magazine. Good morning Hi, again, Laura. Morning. Great to have you back. Thanks for having me back. Uh, you're looking beautiful this morning. Yeah. Yeah. We Oof. are concentrating on, I suppose, traditional bridal uh, gowns and more contemporary gowns yes, as well. Exactly. There's a really huge range out there at the moment, which is lovely. Yeah, there is. There's loads of gorgeous trends for 2017 and then some really kind of classic shapes that are always going to be there. Oh, great. Well, let's have yeah. a look at our mm. first lady now. And I think our we just bride. need to see them. They're so yeah. beautiful. I don't even need any words. Ooh. So this, as you can see, is a beautiful cape. And capes are huge across the board in bridal. Um, anyone from Baji Mishka to Anessa Santo, all of the kind of big labels are doing them. This is Claire Pettibone, uh, both the cape and the dress. And they're from Myrtle Ivory, who I'm sure you're familiar with on Anne's Lane yeah. in Dublin. Um, so it's very romantic, very kind of intricate. It's a real heirloom piece, I think. It's Claire Pettibone, the only reason I know this is because I'm, I'm working with my cousin who's getting married and she's, God love her, she's in Mexico trying to organize everything and she wants something very, Beautiful, or yeah. and, and I suppose in a way it's hard to know what what places to go for certain dresses. But it, you just really have to look online, don't you, and Absolutely. just scour. That's Get on the to confetti.ie. That's what I think. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, for goodness' sake! That's exactly where I'll direct her. But um, in terms of obviously the style, it's whimsical, it's fantastical, isn't it? It's it kind is. of like almost. It's the really kind of light. romantic beautiful. side of Bohemian, you know. Um, and it's, it's a real heirloom piece, like I say. It, it looks antique. Yes, nearly, that's you know, the it's, word. It's Laura, can I ask you about the cape? Has this taken yeah. over from the traditional veil that um, many of us would have worn and It's definitely another option. Sure, yeah. And they come in all shapes and sizes. So you might have a little kind of cropped version mm. or right down to a full length uh, version, which is, you know, a train in its own right as well. Okay. Um, and can yeah. the capes, are they are most of them clear with lace uh, embroidery on? Or can you get some that would be the same material, let's say, um, satin as the dress as well? Does it matter? Yeah, is it absolutely. a bit top heavy if that happens? All. Possibly. I mean, it is lovely to see the dress, and then I think the idea is that maybe you'd pop it off, and for the evening you'd just have the dress on underneath it. You couldn't wear a veil with with that be too much, do you think? Or, oh, or yeah. not? No, I'm saying instead of the veil, yes. the capes are in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, do you need a veil at the back? She'd no. ruin the beautiful It's, it's so unusual because, you know, people might not expect you walking down the aisle yeah. to, to have something like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. It's really, really nice. I like and I think it. as well that would look wonderful, the cape uh, element over just a plain dress as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So and capes are in. Capes are in. Okay. There we go. We'll have a look Give at our next lady. Thank you very much. Ben. So Claire Pettibone, she's obviously renowned for her intricate work and lace detail. She is, absolutely. Okay. And the back is so beautiful. I love that. Can you talk us through the um, styles of dress? I mean, that was sort of mermaid mm -hmm. style. Um, this is another one, I suppose, is a good cut out from the knee. So it's it quite figure hugging right to the knee and then pops out. So and then flares out. So this is fit and flare, which is exactly fit as you're flare. describing. So no. that's one of these things that is really big for bridal fashion for 2017, but is a really classic shape. It's not going anywhere. It's been around for a while. So it's just this is the 2017 variation of it, I guess. So it's, okay, a, it's I, a trumpet I, style, really. I, I'm just going to jump in. It's quite revealing for a wedding dress, um, isn't it? I think I think the be... cape would be wonderful over this one. Yeah, well, it's another big trend is the deep V, the plunging neckline. Really? So, yeah, brides are getting a lot more brave now. I could yeah. never have got away with that, I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have a very small chest, so I could I could easily get away with it. You, know? you could, but, uh, yeah. yeah. I had a pal and she looked stunning in her dress mm -hmm. uh, and that was cut into a deep V. But again, depending on your figure, depending how confident you are. And of course, it's to do with fit as well, isn't Absolutely, it? Absolutely, Because that's yeah. the key. You're spending yeah. so much money on a wedding dress, it really needs to be like a second skin on Completely, the day. Completely, yeah. So this is very sophisticated and dramatic, and but it's very flattering as well on the on, uh, figure. So fish and flare, and as a result mm -hmm. of the fish and flare, are most of the top parts of the dress then quite, you know, uh, figure hugging because are, you can't yeah. have something that's big. With but I guess that's the thing. That's why you're paying money for a wedding dress. They're built so well, and when you put a wedding dress on, that's when you really feel the value in it because they they make you feel like no other dress ever will. But it's it's interesting to note that when I was looking for my own wedding dress only a year and a half ago, that I noticed there was so much more skin bearings, mm -hmm. you know, flesh kind of wedding dresses, which. I never had seen even three years yeah. previous. So I think it's kind of a resurgence of the Kardashians and showing the skin and doing deep plunge yeah. V-neck lines. That's it. That it's kind of more acceptable now, isn't it? A lot of Absolutely, brides yeah. don't have to go for traditional. You can kind of go a bit racy, which is quite nice. Yeah, you can just suit yourself, really, exactly. whatever your own style yeah. is. Here's a dress that I suppose uh, would stand the test of time. And, it, you know, these are photos that you will hopefully be looking back at in 50 years' time with fond memories. And something like this, which I guess you could call Grecian style, yeah. would um, suit an awful lot of figures because it's, it's quite flattering. It comes out from the bust. It is, absolutely. It's very draped and it is very classic. It's um, 
It's a style again that's been around for quite a while, but it's had a bit of a reinsurgence in the last couple of years. I, I would just love to have a look at the back now. My favourite part, one of my favourite parts of a wedding dress is the buttons, the beautiful white mm. buttons, the, the covered buttons. There's just something really classic. It, it screams a wedding dress. To they me are. As well. They're so yeah. delicate. Yeah. yeah. And, and in, in terms, terms of, time, of having a little bling as well, Laura, we saw lace there. Bling mm. is in as well for spring summer 2017 bridal. It is. I mean, this is very much because the rest of the dress is a, a very simple silk, silk crepe. It needs a little something, so I think this really adds to it. And you wouldn't need to do too much else anywhere else. And you might like a little pair of earrings and you're done. And what about headpieces to match? Um, you know, the sort of the embroidered or the, the diamond encrusted or jewel encrusted yeah. headpieces, are, you're, they're still widely available. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you're, if, you're going, if you're not going to go for a veil, then either a little birdcage veil or a big dramatic headpiece is the way forward. Yeah. One of these beautiful big clips or the hairbands with all the kind of encrusted bejewel pieces on them. You've shown us three very dramatic different styles there, yeah. which is great. So I know you've got three more on the way as well. I so I presume you've got the bigger meringues. I do. Yeah. I do have one a little bigger. Or yeah. A little bit bigger as well. But it's lovely to see the different styles that are out in the market at the moment. Yeah, there's so much great. variety out there. So it's yeah. about finding what suits you. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, well yeah. said. We'll, we'll see you later on.